Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor Tim here. Uh, I'm coming to you uh, from my back deck at my house. It is Sunday, March 29, 2020. And I wanted to take a couple minutes before we all join together at our, our live stream uh, venue to share a couple of words of encouragement with you. Uh, this is our second Sunday of doing this, and we're learning as we go. And I just want to thank everyone for all the feedback we got after last Sunday's service, uh, uh, the, the Facebook comments, the emails, the phone calls. We really need that. We appreciate those those words of encouragement and those clarifications. And we're trying our best to improve all these broadcasts that we're doing, whether it's Sunday morning, uh, the Vespers and Sunday afternoon, kids break, other midweek stuff. We're really trying to do our best to get better at that. And we thank you so much uh, for your affirmation and your words. In particular, we're working with Premier Communications to try to uh, learn better how to broadcast over Channel 77. We have some audio issues that we are improving, I believe, and I think we'll continue to improve uh, as we go forward as a congregation as well. But we want to encourage you to, to tune in uh, in all of these different kinds of streams and and the avenues media that we're reaching out to you, whether it is Premier, or City Communications, uh, maybe you're watching on YouTube, uh, maybe you are watching on one of those cool little Roku devices or Roku TVs, those really work great. And if you have maybe a, uh, an, an elderly friend or family member that could benefit from a real simple way of connecting with us, and maybe they don't have cable or the cable isn't working quite right, Roku is a great way to go. Just call the church. It's about, it's one $40 thing. It's not a monthly subscription or anything like that. So long as you have Wi-Fi, uh, you'll be able to uh, connect with the church on Roku, and we can give you some instructions on how to do that. For those of you who are going to be hanging in here on Facebook with us, as soon as this broadcast is done at 930, we'll switch over to our Sunday morning worship experience. Again, we encourage you to share that feed. Share, just push that little button underneath the video, just on the lower right side. And if you're really tech savvy, share and tag. Tag a friend of yours, tag someone who's in a different time zone or a different part of the world who might not be participating in church in another way. We'd love it for you to spread joy through this medium of Facebook and online communications to help, as we said, stop spreading germs and start spreading joy. Hey, onto that end, I wanted to share just a, a word of, uh, of encouragement that we got from our friends Rick and Paul Akterhoff. They messaged in. They wanted the whole church to know that their love for our faith, our congregation, and our community far exceeds uh, their fear of the virus. Thank you, Rick and Paul, for that. Wonderful words, and that's true of all of us uh, as well. Hey, this Sunday morning, uh, just a few minutes, I'm going to be teaching on Sabbath, uh, on rest. And this is, as I'm going to say, it's a very countercultural idea. Uh, but COVID has caused us to have to stop a little bit, to slow down, to make some changes and transformations in our life. So we hope that you are blessed by this message. It's going to be drawn primarily from the book of Exodus, but we'll be stealing from a few other books of the Bible as well to enrich that idea of the development uh, of Sabbath as well. So again, we welcome any feedback on the preaching, on the teaching uh, that you get as well. <clears throat> Before we pray, I want to offer one other little idea for the church. I've been seeing this week all kinds of like Facebook challenges, right? I've been seeing people doing like the TikTok thing where they do this, and I'm not even going to try to do that. People have been like, baking bread and sharing that with people and tagging other people and challenging them like to make sourdough or whatever. Hey, we want to do one better as we continue to spread joy, not germs. Today, I'm going to start the First Reformed Church Life Verse Challenge. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tagging a couple people on Facebook and on Instagram and asking you to read, write, or recite your life verse and then tag three other people. Because I don't know about you, but I love hearing how God's word speaks to you. And I want to try to spread this through our church to hear what our life verses are. If you can remember to do it, just kind of write that you're at First Reformed Church of Orange City. That way more of us will see it. And if you forget to do that, we'll try to make sure that we can collect these and get them to everyone as well. But share your life verses with people. We need it now uh, more than ever. I Before I close, too, I, I want to just repeat the words we've said so often. In this time, in this difficult season of COVID, we have just two primary messages. And the first is, if you need help, come to the church. If you need financial help, 
come to the church. We've heard increasingly people's jobs are being impacted even in our part of the world here in Orange City. If you need financial help, if you need prayer help, if you need someone to, to write encouragement notes to you, if you're just feeling down, if you're feeling alone, reach out to the church. We are here for this. God gave us each other for such a time as this. If you need help of any kind, 737-4909, we would love to try to help you. If you can give help, if you can give a little more financially, if you can pray a little more frequently, if you can write those encouragement notes, if you can do deliveries for people, also talk to the church. Uh, we would love to be able to use you and enfold you in what we're able to do. So please remember, we have pastors, we have loving staff members, we have elders. And if you know of anyone, it doesn't have to be you. If you know of anyone who needs more help or if you yourself are able to give help, please reach out to the church. This is what we exist to do. Before I pray, I want to leave you with a couple of thoughts from Jeremiah chapter 29. The book of Jeremiah, uh, as in the run-up, is all about how things are going to change dramatically for God's people. It's going to be a time of sadness. It's going to be a time of grief, a time of heartache, as the world that they knew uh, came to uh, an end uh, about 600 years before Jesus was born. And their city fell apart, and people were, were sad. And many of them were, were taken to another place. They lived in a new reality. And it's in that reality that we have that famous line so many of us have heard, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Now that's Jeremiah 29, verse 11. But if you go back a couple verses to Jeremiah 29, verse 7, you'll see this wonderful verse that says, pray and work for the peace and prosperity of the new city in which you're living, the new reality in which you live. And we want to continue to pray and work for the peace of, and prosperity of Orange City, of Sioux County, of Northwest Iowa, and our world. So hang in there because what you see in Jeremiah 30 is God's comeback story. And the very last verse of Jeremiah 30, Jeremiah 30, 24 says, God says, I'm going to bring everything back. I'm going to restore things. And you may not understand it now, but you will understand what I've been doing in time. It will make sense. It will come together. You'll begin to see what I have seen all along. And that is our prayer as a church, to continue to grow an understanding for what God knows and God has in store for us as a church. I need to wrap up because it's just about time for us to worship together. So will you join me in prayer as we begin our worship time? Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful, uh, sunny Sunday morning. We thank you for the, the sound of robins and, and woodpeckers. Uh, we thank you for uh, the rays of sun after the rains of yesterday. Lord Jesus, as we now join together for worship, as we try to invite and include as many people as we can to hear the good news of Jesus Christ, we ask that you would continue to keep us folded together as a congregation, that we would feel uh, united and not alone that we would feel a part of something and not isolated, that we would feel hope and not despair. Lord, this morning, I wanna especially pray for those whose, whose work might be impacted by changes in our economy. I pray, Lord, that you would protect jobs, protect income, protect uh, the, the spirit of people who might be heart sick because of these changes. Lord, will you just reach into their lives and minister today and provide what, what no pastor can even do, and that is hope and joy in Jesus Christ. Lord, now as we sing together, as we pray together, as we open your word together, may we do it to your name's honor and glory. And all God's people, wherever they are, said, Amen. It's just about time to begin our worship. It'll be at 9.30 after the worship service at 11 o'clock. There is a time of Sunday school. We're going to be using the Fred Talks uh, that we had recorded back in the fall. And we also want to encourage you to join us at 4 p.m. Uh, for our Vesper service. Our friend Devin Rook will be bringing the message at that time. Again, if you need anything, call. We'll see you soon, and God bless. Bye-bye.